So have we got a treat for you today. Make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because we are going to the secret garden or the Buddha secret garden. And this place is up here in the hills of Koh Samui. Some big hills. And that little car right there makes it, but it doesn't make it really good. But it's not an issue getting here. You should be able to get here on any car, any scooter. And ironically, this is the same place we started our hike at yesterday. So Kim and I were here yesterday, or two days, a few days ago, but we did not visit the Magic Garden. So there's the entrance down there. And it looks like it's gonna be 80 baht to get in. And this is a place where there was a durian farmer who in 1977 decided he wanted to build this place that would really put Koh Samui on the map as far as like tourists and stuff like that. I've seen pictures of this place and it is just amazing in there. So it's gonna look like everything is hundreds or thousands of years old. And in reality, it was all built between 19, how would I say 1977 and 1996 or 1995 when he was 90 something years old and passed away. So. Real quick, next part of the video, I'll show you what the sign looks like off the ring road, and then we'll be heading in. See you in a minute. So we're on the ring road. I just wanna show you what the surrounding area looks like. You're looking for that sign right there. It says Elephant Camp, Waterfall, Mountain Viewpoint, and Buddha Magic Garden, which is where we are headed. So this is something you see in Thailand from time to time. Um, almost like real quick stops for gasoline. So there's no gas station here. Actually, well, it says gas station, but these are on the side of the road and you can just pull up and pump as well as sometimes they have one liter bottles. So people put out one liter bottles in front of their house and they sell them for 40 baht. So a liter of gas goes for 30 baht. And what they do is they sell them for 40 baht in front of their house. So they pick up 10 baht every time somebody stops. And you know what? It is super convenient. Um, when you're out on a scooter or something and you feel like you're running low on gas, you're never more than a couple minutes away from being able to stop and get some gas. So we'll be heading down in a second. See you in a minute. Might as well use this moment to just show you some pretty flowers. There's a secret garden dog right there. Hey puppy. And that's the booth we're going to head over and pay at. See you in a second. So here's the two tickets we received. They were 80 baht each, which is about two dollars and fifty cents and then just to the left of the booth is this set of stairs that we're gonna walk down so I did a little bit of reading on the internet and this is one of those places that every time you come you will see something different and literally that's how I feel about Thailand it seems like the more you look, the more you see. Meaning, you look behind a tree, there might be a statue. You look down in the stream, there might be a statue. You look at five statues and there might be six. And here's a good example right here. So, look at, that's just like a serpent right there. But it is possible to just totally walk by it and never notice anything. Then right here we have this old looking house. Continue down the stairs. And here's some seating. But you can see what I'm talking about. 
as well. This place looks like it's thousands of years old and it was really just built in, started in 1977. Came from that direction right there and this tree was here. So what I did is I just walked around it, climbed over it, and I'm gonna head this way because it looks kind of cool. There's like a pool or something over here. Maybe there's some fish. I'm sure there's so many things I'm gonna show you today. And as I see them, I'm gonna point them out. But here, right here, this looks like a rock or, a, or just a piece of concrete. And then you get closer to it and it's actually a fish. And that's cool. You see that fish? But then you look down there and there's another fish sculpture right there. So again, just everywhere you look, there's more than you would ever expect to see. This part right here must be themed to a turtle because I see one turtle, I see two turtles, I see three turtles, I see four turtles, and because I can see four, my guess is there's probably eight or 10 in this little area. Here we have this house. It looks like it's being guarded by a cobra. Which, by the way, there are cobras here. Uh, the guy we were hiking with yesterday said he had found a Monaco cobra at his house. I didn't go home and look at Monaco cobras, but they said they're beautiful. So, something to be aware of. And now I'm looking down there and there's like legs coming out of that rock right there. Hopefully there's legs coming out of that one as well. Interesting stuff, I'm telling you. I could see little kids coming here with little kids just loving this place. This is like a fairy tale with everything that's going on here. But look at this. Let's see what camera is. So a couple little chairs built in. A big statue up there on top of a table. And then some other statues over there. And then right here we've got a bird, probably eating a snake. And then if we go up here, we got a guy, looks like a warrior with a sword. But we have no idea how big this place is. But I see some more statues and sculptures downstream here. So, I might actually stop here. And the reason is, is I don't know if you can see in this video, but there's fish in this water right here. And sometimes these fish are those fish that like eat the skin off your feet. So I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna take my shoes off. And try. Yeah, my feet are not full of calluses and stuff. Um, you can see the fish in there and they did come and eat. I mean, they came up and they nibbled a few things but didn't do a whole lot. Um, they did feel like those type of fish though. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch of them down there. Maybe I'll try, oh, just felt one. But when you go to like a spa or pay for this, I think they, keep their fish pretty hungry because they attack and it feels like a million little electric bolts going through your feet or teeth. I mean, it's either a, like, it feels like they're biting you or they're electrocuting you. Um, and we've got videos from the past with Kim on it. And I'm going to tell you if I had those videos, if I can find them, I'll include them. But, um, those would be viral videos. Those were some of the funniest videos we've ever done in Thailand. So, all right, these fish are here, but they're not chowing on me like I was hoping. Oh.
So a little bit ago in the video, I mentioned that this was a Thai farmer. Um, his name was Nim Thong Suk. And you can see this is farmland up here. And that right there is a durian tree. If you've never had a durian, it's definitely an experience. Uh, we have been starting to eat it. And the Thais, the local Thais, they want us to experience um, their native fruit. So that's a durian tree up there. I've never seen one with blue bags on it so maybe it's something special because right next to it is a regular durian tree over there and we'll continue exploring and see you in a bit there's what looks like a mushroom right there another statue huge trees I mean, absolutely huge trees. And right over here, there's a chair. Just sitting on top of a rock. So, I'll give you a view from up here. And then once you're done, you've got the flight of stairs back out. What'd you think, Kim? What you think? Oh, it was so neat. Just really neat. Felt like it was thousands of years old, didn't it? Yeah. Hope you stuck with us. During the whole video, it wasn't too long of a video, I hope. Um, Magic Garden, Kosamui, Buddha's Magic Garden goes by a bunch of different names I'd highly recommend it if you have kids have them like look around tell you what they see things like that they will stay entertained for a couple hours probably now reality it's probably a one hour stop uh, but worth it so that's it see you guys in the next video so we took a little side trip to the Khao Yai waterfall. I had been here before and we're not gonna take the car down this road. I would take the scooter down this road, but not the car. So maybe a little bonus footage on this video. It's a pretty nice little waterfall down here. So here we are at the Khao Yai waterfall. I'm sure when it's raining out, there is some great water here, great waterfall. Um, there are a couple dogs up there. I don't know if you can see them. And there's a set of stairs that go up the waterfall right there. And you can go all the way to the top and there's amazing viewpoints up there. And we can see Kim hiking down this side of this mountain over here. So this was pretty accessible on a scooter, not so much on a car but definitely worth a stop and a quick visit to see another one of the waterfalls on Koh Samui. So one more thing, if you see this sign, I don't think that was the permanent placement of the sign because the arrow is facing the wrong way. So if you run across this sign, you wanna go the opposite way of the arrow if it's on this little side road down here, okay? Hopefully that helps you if you're out looking for this waterfall. And one last thing, I promise. If you're coming out here, we're close to the best Sumui viewpoint. There's a building there with a blue roof. And there's these water towers right here with this amazing view. So that sign looks as if it was moved off the main road, so you may not even see it. But this will at least give you an idea of what you are. And if I walk back out to the main road, you'll see here's the water things and it's right there. You go that way down the hill. Okay, hope that helps.